it is it is uh, great to be talking uh, with you and, and and with the audience about and then thank you Scott too for those generous and yes embarrassing um, kind words. Um, it, it's great to be talking about as challenging as COVID has been for all of us and I think will remain so. Um, putting trying to put it in the broader context of of health policy and of what we know really determines health outcomes and how inequitably um, health outcomes are distributed across our population. And we're seeing it here in COVID as well. And the, the I still am struggling to find the words to adequately express the meaning of these last couple of weeks, the, the, the tragic and the outrageous um, killing of, of Mr. Floyd and the community's response to it. Um, really does, I think, you know, I've, there have been so many thoughtful things written and, and said by leaders in the community, but just this question of, have we finally had our, kind of our eyes opened and our, our hearts and minds opened to see what structural racism looks like and to begin to understand that um, the outcomes that we see in society, whether they're health outcomes or economic or educational or anything else, is so powerfully determined by those, by how literally how our communities are put together. Mm -hmm.